Well, we could do the we could do the opposite of what we've done before, where I read this chunk on it, and then on your chunk, I can put a picture of you all happily. But only the face from uh, from uh, what was it called? Uh, the Adam Project. Yes, yes. I think there you go. Perfect. just put me like you can put me like scrolling across. <laughs> <laughs> actually that's a good idea just put a black screen on this side and then just have your picture just like moving around and shit and then it's just like like right here on my eye and shit episode welcome to episode 30 i'm gonna leave all this in that that's fucking funny episode 34 of mount nine the emergency episode just because we were going through recording withdrawals and decided to do it on the fly you won't see it because we're not going to probably release video. It'll be mostly audio or we release video, but we'll mess with it. But you won't see why Ambrose should not be on camera. We'll just leave it at that. Great. At some point, we're probably going to say something stupid. That's going to give away why. <laughs> yeah. Audio is um, good. Basically, it's like if I'm on a phone call. I'm on a conference call right now. Yes, for, for, for his real job. Um, uh -huh. so as you guys should know, we were not able to record and release last week. We took a week off. Uh, Mr. Ambrose is always busy and I caught my, I, I found myself busy like him with house stuff. Uh, the move is still happening. We're finally out completely out of the old house, but we still need to settle in the new house and it's going slow, steady but slow i thought i would be done with the house yesterday and it turned out i had to go back again today but now i'm done done the keys have been turned in all the stuff is out so yeah that's it no nothing you're left done, at the you're, you're done done i'm done 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 dum, de, dum, dum, dum. with the old house now continues the process of the of the new house which is going to take forever but whatever we're here forever so anyway yeah. um good night Halo. I say we do Halo first because I think Halo is going to go pretty quick. I don't have much to say about Halo. <laughs> All right. So go ahead. <laughs> uh, plain and simply, dude, I'm, I'm pushing through, to be honest. I If I had to choose right now, there's another show that we're going to talk about that I would much rather invest my time in. Or either, e either that or get rid of Halo, get rid of that one. And just try to catch up on Yellowstone. The other show that we're going to talk about actually made me want to watch Yellowstone. Out of range. Um, but anyway, we'll talk more about that later. Um, Halo, I just, it's not, it's not, the pacing is slow. I'm not that interested in the story. It's not hooking me. Like if uh, this is already episode three. So yeah, the, I'm, four, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of leaning. To, I'm going to see how many there are. I think there's 10. Are there ten? No, they're they're doing few uh, less than that. No, you. Uh, I'm not sure. Let Check it see. out. <laughs> let, let, you let yeah. I'm gonna look it up. You you tell me what you're thinking so far, and then we'll go back okay, to that. Okay, so actually, we're on episode four of Halo. Now, mm -hmm. my thoughts towards Halo is it feels like an upgraded CW show. Do you get that same feel? Yes, yes, very much so. There, you know what the 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 visual effects are really good. You know, the outer space stuff, the, the, the ships are, are really good. Uh, but I don't know if it's the scenery, the costumes, something just throws it off when they're like with a lot of people. Because when they're like uh, in a ship, you know, with Cortana or whatever, right? it looks fine. You know what I mean? But as soon as they open up the, the, the frame to like have this, I don't know, when they're in a village or something, I think it just, it's just too, uh, it's not, and it's not done well. Does okay. that make sense? Yes. Yeah, it's just not done well to, to where it's, it, it could be better. I mean, the visual effects kind of are looking kind of like the Bo Book of Boba Fett. And the Book of Boba Fett, they're using these like million dollar, I don't know what, uh, green screens, right? Right. So, I mean, I'm going to push through it only because, you know, of uh, uh, Maxter Chief. <laughs> Max that's that's Chief. funny. That's fine. I like that. The Maxter Chief. <laughs> nice. Boy, it's either that. It's either that or the Max DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
that's, that's I, just what I named him on his, uh, on yeah, his profile. That's but, really cool. Yeah, I, mean, I like that. It's one of the main reasons I'm gonna push through it. You know, right. Because uh, he likes it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to watch it. Yeah, that. Uh, but and that's... I still. I, I'm... Go ahead. I was just going to say that's um, that's a big plus because I think if I was in the same boat, I would definitely push through and watch the rest of it just for that bonding moment, just for have to, you know, that core memory or whatever. Um, yeah. But I don't lose that into she hasn't even started. She's kind of walked in a couple of times like, what are you watching? And she'll watch like two seconds and then she'll leave. Um, yeah. so I don't, I don't have that reason to watch. Um, it's, it's not bad. I'm not going to say that it's bad. Um, it's just not what I thought it was going to, it didn't hook me. I was way more excited for the trailer than I am to continue watching. When I, speaking of TV series. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Speaking of Disney. <laughs> uh huh. Speaking on the other side of the verse. Right. Speaking. Yeah. Speaking of uh, the people that are actually doing it right. Moon Knight. <laughs> Moon Knight, Moon Knight, dude, um, I still stick to, I think it's a little too slow. I think they, they could have given us a lot more by now because this is already episode three, which is halfway. And I don't feel like we've gotten, it's, it feels, it's going to feel too short. It's going to feel like, fuck, they should have made it 10 episodes and given us more sooner. It, it feels like we should have been way more advanced, may, way, way more further along in the story than we are. That's my, so, that's my only I mean, complaint. Other than that, visually, everything else, I'm fucking loving it. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, I, I'm liking it a lot, too. It's, uh, I don't know. I, I just think that the storylines are so separated from everything else. It, uh, for now. Yeah, for now. That's, I know, there's so, many spe- there's so much speculation and rumors and, you know, See, this is going to happen and this is going to come out and you know all this other stuff i'm like all right well, where is it going to lead to and who is it going to lead to anyway so moon knight we totally went on a tangent there moon knight moon knight moon knight, moon knight. i know moon knight it's great <laughs> yeah there's i, like I mean it. honestly there's not a whole like lot, to, a lot the only complaint i have like i said is the pacing of it but other than that dude like i said visually story-wise acting dude fucking oscar isaac is fucking killing it i'm i'm fucking enjoying the, yep. this whole this whole little a uh, plot twist kind of that they have where now mark specter and steven are both confused because they don't know who the fuck is taking over that's really cool yeah. uh the dead crow face guy he's maybe a bit of a wink link they're making him seem i don't know i thought it would be cooler he just seems like a Put, not a pushover but he seems like he's just he seems like he's actually a bad guy that's pulling the strings a little bit but yeah we'll see where they head with that but overall dude i'm 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 all about it i'm looking forward to watching the rest of it and see where it where it heads i'm definitely more invested way more invested in hate in um moon knight than i am halo oh same and ethan hawk man he does really good he's doing really good okay. I mean, as a as a villain yeah Fuck I, yeah. I can't wait to see, you know what I mean? Because even, even the storyline with him, his previous avenue and seeing where he's going now and what he's going to do, yeah. you know, and then seeing all the rest of the other, uh, what are they called? Uh, avatars for the, what do they call themselves? The gods? The gods or whatever. Mm-hmm. Have they called themselves the gods? Well, yeah, because they the god of this and the god of that, no? You want to hear the tangent real quick? Yes, always. How'd you like that trailer for Thor: Love and Thunder? Bro, I don't think that's a tangent. <laughs> I think that, I think we need to finish up Moon Knight and just go into that because that's a perfect segue. Because let's so go ahead and do that. Is there anything else? Guys. Is there anything else on Moon Knight that you want to throw in there real quick before we segue? This isn't a tangent. This no, is no. a segue. Okay. This is a segue. So we're segueing to gods. Okay, so segue is that the theory is that with the guy, because you, you're the one that sent me the thing where the Black Panther and Thor are re- referenced supposedly in Moon Knight, uh, the legend of or the legend of Wakanda or something like that, whatever. And the yeah. theory is that they're referring to gods because in the comics, the Panther God is somewhat connected to the God uh that Moon Knight is serving or whatever. And this is all supposedly tied in because 
uh, Love and Thunder is supposed to be Gore, the God Butcher. So he's going to be hunting gods, which makes sense because that's why they have Zeus in it. Uh, exactly. though, that being said, the teaser was amazing and oh fucking bullshit at the same time. Because <laughs> we've waited so long. I honestly think that we've waited so long that they gave us a little tiny turd and that turd just, oh my God, it's amazing. Whereas technically it wasn't that great because fuck you, we should have, you should have given us way more than that by now. Cause yeah, I, I, geez, that, that, uh, I knew that it was going to be released, you know, we had been waiting and waiting and waiting for this release of the trailer of the teaser, you right. know, and I think this has been the longest that Ipsy has held out on us, <laughs> but it is what it is. What, what can we say? The everything about the damn trailer was like, okay, we see what he's doing. It it, it seems like he's going on his life journey, you know, what yeah. I mean? to kind of figure himself out and become, you know, just get that inner peace. From what I've what I've I've heard and what I've seen, it's uh, Thor trying to to get to his inner peace or his inner, you know, just to to, to finish everything off. He's done everything, you know, everything. His battles are are, are done and won. Right. And, I don't know. It's, it, it just seems like this is going to be his kind of like the, the end story for Thor or his next, you know, his next chapter, which of course uh, I know that if Jane Foster does become the mighty Thor takes his mantle, then Thor should become, uh, he won't be called Thor anymore. He'd be called Odinson. I think that was in the comics. So he takes his father's, you know, place and becomes Odin started. So there's only one little thing, and I'm not too sure if you've seen it or not. So they released a photo of uh, the toy of uh, Gore, the God Butcher. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm, 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 a, I'm a little fake. disappointed. I hope so too, and I hope that they they can can fix that. And you know maybe maybe they will, maybe they won't. But I did see uh, what was that guy's name that came out with uh, that was with Thanos, the one that they, that uh, Iron Man called Squidward. Uh ah shit, Ebony Ma. Okay, so you know they were like, look, Ebony Ma looks more like like uh, Gore than Gore looks, you know, like in the comics. And so I I'm have that they, I have a feeling that that's exactly what happened. I have a feeling that they created that the look for that character, and then they decided to do Gore the God Butcher, and then they were like, well, we can't fucking make him look like that because he looks too much like Ebony Ma now. So we need to change the look. Yeah. I could see that being the case because, yeah, dude, uh, Ebony Ma does look way fucking more like God the uh, Gore than than the toy does. Like, if they go with the look from the toy, it's gonna piss me off because that looks like when they did fucking Apocalypse in X Men or which shit. Is also it, Oscar Isaac. <laughs> which, yeah, which is also Oscar Isaac, but even worse. Like, I think I would be able to tolerate that as long as they don't make dr doom from the second fantastic four franchise oh my gosh. The Christ, that the one dummy. <laughs> that yeah that one's got to be at the absolute worst ever like that I, I can't think one worse than that even even apocalypse by that standard was okay yeah i don't know i i, I think they did them dirty compared to comics and the and the, the animated series they did apocalypse pretty dirty um, yeah that was that was pretty visually bad. He, oh, yeah. I mean, Oscar Isaac, you know, he acts, you know, he's, he's a great actor, you know, but and he did the, the, he did what he needed to do to be apocalypse, but I just don't think visually it was the right, the right move for him. But yeah, no, that's why, that's why the X-Men's are, that's why the X-Men series, that's why the X-Men series is where it is. Maybe we'll put that in the show notes or something if we find it, but um, trying to move on here so we don't take up too much time. Um, yeah. Outer range. On, on Amazon Prime. Right? Perfect segue. Because I don't know. I just there's, cut you off. Don't worry about there's it. No, yeah, there's no segue. That it, if we can't find a good segue, it's just going to be Ambrose cutting me off. Outer right. range. Let you go ahead and start off because it seems like I've been starting off and ranting about shit. So you start off with outer range. So I watched both episodes. I really like what they're doing with this, 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 uh, this new series it okay. seems like it's going to be a one and done series type of series 
because I don't see him going on to two or three seasons of this. Uh, it starts Josh Brolin and a couple other people that I really don't know, except the other, the other, uh, the other, the other farmer, which is the same guy that just came out on Yellowstone as the dad that, that was killed, and he came out on. Uh, Spoiler alert. I didn't know that he was in Yellowstone and got killed. Huh? I didn't know that he was in Yellowstone and got killed. Is it the same guy? I'm not that far along, but thank you. (laughs) Anyway, and then. (laughs) (laughs) Shit, well played, sir. Well played. (laughs) Like, what? And then. And he was on Armageddon. I should have just said Armageddon from the get go. Damn yeah, it. chick, chick from Armageddon. What? He's also in uh, Gone in sixty seconds. I don't remember him from there, but yes. <laughs> yeah, that one. That damn, he just threw my head through a loop. I don't even know where I was going. Uh, <sighs> the, the actors and actresses there that you don't know. Okay, yeah, that's right. So then, yeah, so that you know, there's some good actors and Josh, Josh Brolin. You know what I mean? He's right. Kind of like Josh Brolin and everything. You know, it's just, just another Josh Brolin cowboy movie, but. I think that after watching the second episode, I'm like, all right, where the hell is this thing going? Uh, there's only one thing that I do not like. Okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you both of my aspects really quick. I was sitting in my car and I was trying to watch it. And I couldn't see nothing. I couldn't see anything. Okay. It was like completely black. So then I'm like on my TV. And I'm watching it, and it's like, you have to watch this at night to get the full effect because it is so extremely dark. It's uh, it's that Game of Thrones night battle. Yes, it is too dark, and that's that's the only downside that I that that me personally that I don't like that. I I know I understand what they're trying to do and trying to set the mood. Just like Game of Thrones, you know, keep it dark, you know what I mean? And uh, make it mysterious or whatever. Right. Um, it, it makes sense what they're what they're trying to do. It, I just think it's it's too damn dark. Is it too dark or am I just getting too old? <laughs> no, I think I'm like, because that was one of the things that I'm going to say. I, I both love and hate this fucking show already. And it's only two episodes in. And one of the things that I love about it is I love what they're doing with the production, the cinematography yes. and the visuals. And the artistic style that they're using, I'm really enjoying it because, like that one shot where they have um, the two the guys riding on the ATVs or whatever, that they have like one in focus and the other ones are blurry, but then they transition to the to the fucking phenomenal shots. Like whoever is doing the cinematography and the directing on this, fucking amazing, up, uh, yeah. fucking amazing. Um, the only downside is that whoever they have writing sucks ass um whoever's doing the writing they they suck the dialogue like when when the things are when things are progressing and it's like actiony it it, it's great because there's not a whole lot of dialogue but as soon as they start like just sitting and talking dude the dialogue is so fucking stupid like the little girl going out and asking that girl like like random questions, just like what the fuck, dude? That's not how people talk. Like the, it, at least not in fucking TV shows. Like you you need to progress the story. It's just not very well written, but yeah. visually it's fucking awesome. So I think that's the style that they're going for. Like during the day they're having a certain feel, but at night they want to make it mysterious and dark and like what the hell is going on? Like you, I can't see what's going on. You're not supposed to know what's going on. I I, I that's the yeah. feel that I get. Yeah, and it's good. It is good. It just, you know, it, like I said, you're gonna have to watch it, you know, late afternoon when it's when your whole entire house is dark. Because yeah. if you don't watch it like that, you're that, not gonna get the same. Honestly, I think. Okay, hopefully that I can draw that out. Anyway, um, yeah, the only thing that I'll say about it about this one, um, it's pretty bad. It it the the writing is really bugging me. The pacing is again the pacing it. It's there, but it's also not. Um, it's um, <laughs> it's uh, ah, I don't know how to put like 
it's got me hooked, but it's also pissing me off at the same time. Seriously. Um, I, I don't know. I, I want to like it. The, the thing that it has going for it is that it's so got me hooked as far as what the fuck is going on. So for, for me, I, I really like the show. I, I like where they're, they're going with it. I like the mystery. You know what I mean? Visually, of course, it's, it's amazing. I really like how it looks. Um, like I said, the only downside was the darkness, but I, you know, I'm able to fix that. So that's going to be on the back burner either way. So right. everything's really good. You okay? <laughs> yes. Sorry. So, so I think every, everything other than that is really good. Now, I'm just going to tell you what this reminds me of. Okay. okay. And, I, and I don't know if you've heard of this story. It's an actual story that came out on uh, Coast to Coast. Uh, it's a AM radio show. Okay. With, uh, Bill, Bill, Bill uh, I, I thought it was Ted Nori, but it's uh, Ed Nori. I don't know. Anyways, Coast to Coast is an AM show that people would call in and, uh, and, and talk to the, to the radio host. Anyways, so this guy called in. His name was Mel Waters. And there's a story about Mel's hole. And if you haven't heard of that, it was a hole that he found on his property that was more than like 100,000 feet deep because he would run like 5,000 yard spools and it would never hit the bottom. Never heard right? of this. Okay. Okay. So I'll send you the excerpt and you can post it. You can put it on your face or something like boop, right here. Right. <laughs> Mel's, Mel's hole. And, you know, I just did me. I, you know, I'm, I'm a thing about, you know, UFOs and crypto, crypto, you know, whatever. And uh, not crypto like Bitcoin, but cryptozoology, you know, stuff like that. Right. Uh, and the stuff like that. Well, anyways, so Mel's hole, and I'm, it's, but this will remind, it was like, as soon as that end of the second episode happened, I'm like, it has to be this. So mm -hmm. the government found out about Mel's hole, and this happened in, in I think, in Washington or I don't know where. Um, they seized his land. The U.S. government seized his land and gave him a buyout. Shut and he up. Was never really? able to, yeah, they, they were, he was never to, able to go in there. So he knew th this hole had always always been there, right? Right. <laughs> and uh, I mean, there's this. There's just a long story because you know he said that people put like dead bodies in there, and then they would come back to life of animals. Yes. And that there was even like some animal that came out of it. It kind of looked like a hybrid seal, and you know, it, it you know it came up. It was dying, and he the, this certain man you know held it, and and then it went back in. I don't know. It's it, it, it just totally reminds me of uh, where this is leading. You know what I mean? So if you ever get a chance just to look up look up Mel's hole, even if it's on uh, on YouTube, just to get kind of like a sense of of what this reminded me of i mean you could cut out whatever you need to cut out but um it kind of left me with that sense in my mind you know of well that's interesting because i never i never heard it i will get the feeling that i kind of read something about but i think i read like the 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 title and then ignored the rest of the article or some shit but i remember vaguely something like that maybe yeah, that maybe yeah. look it up maybe that's the inspiration for the show i, I think i think it kind of is dude and that's just the way my mind thinks, you know. That's <laughs> just actually like really every other, just like every actor has their doppelganger, <laughs> right, bro? Yeah, it's that'll be interesting. I'll, I'll I'll definitely look into that. I'm gonna go down that rabbit hole, especially if there's like an actual YouTube video about it. I'll fucking watch the shit out of that. I'll, I'll watch something more than better than read it. So so. Hey, hey, hey speaking of movie theater releases, really quick. <laughs> What's that new one? The day of tomorrow after today. Or some shit like that. I don't know about that one. Okay, you know Indiana Jones, right? The sidekick. The character or the actor? Uh, well, the well from the movie Indiana Jones. Okay. Short round. Yes. Which is Data. Right. Is in this new movie. Okay. Yeah, and are you able to look it up? <laughs> I thought I'd I give could. you a little bit of time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> so there's a new movie that just came out. 
Uh, I believe it's uh, it's not a foreign. It's not going to be a foreign film. I don't know if it's a subtitle film in the same essence as. Uh, oh, is, are you that? talking about everything, everywhere, all at once? Yes, bro. That movie is getting crazy fucking reviews. I know. Like I know. crazy. Like I, at the, at this point, I because it's in my geek realm and everybody's giving it such attention, I have to fucking watch it now. It, that's it's what getting, I'm saying, dude. yeah, dude. The day it had nothing to do with today or tomorrow. <laughs> everything, 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 everywhere, all at once, dude. It is getting fucking just ridiculous fucking reviews, dude. It's 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 like the, the people are some people, of course, it's their opinion, but there's a lot of people that are saying the same thing that best movie of 2022. Oh, geez, I mm -hmm. and I heard the same exact thing, dude. And Same that's exactly. that's crazy because that we have multiverse of madness. We have Thor: Love and Thunder. I think we even have Avatar coming out this year, dude. That that's a big fucking boast to make. But yeah, everything, everywhere, all at once is getting crazy fucking reviews. And, and what's his name? Short round <laughs> data. I can't remember his real name. Oh, his real name's all over the place. I K Hui Kwan. Jamie yeah. Lee Curtis is in it. James yeah. Hong is in it. Get the fuck out of yeah, here, bro. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Oh, Jenny, you... Jenny Slate is in it. I think what we're going to yeah. have to do is uh, replace Death on the Nile with that one and just get that one out of the way because I think we have, or actually, no, we should probably keep Death on the Nile and do everything everywhere all at once and put Studio 666 on a back burner until we, we can figure that out. Yeah, that sounds like a plan, dude. Yeah, I had I had been meaning to ask you about that one, but I couldn't remember the damn title of the movie. Yeah, that <laughs> shit that shit hit my radar like maybe a week, week and a half ago. And I, at first I saw it and I'm like, okay, whatever. And then I started hearing more about it. I'm like, okay, now I gotta fucking research this movie. What the fuck? And then like just two days ago, I was just like, dude, this thing is fucking everywhere all at See, once. I thought it was I thought it was just <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a <laughs> no that was a good one i thought it was gonna be like a netflix you know like squid game came out i thought it was gonna be a netflix release i didn't realize it was just gonna be released in the theaters oh it's the theaters only i think so oh. that, can, you, can you double check that i am gonna double check it because that's it, gonna it, it might have said it if it was <laughs> right next to the title of the movie <laughs> right yeah streaming if, it, if it's getting that big of a buzz i'm assuming that it's just gonna be in theaters you'd be surprised i want to say it's on netflix i think that's where i saw and that's what i thought too but i but i looked it up on netflix but i didn't see anything okay so we'll we'll have at the very least death on the nile should definitely we've been putting it off long enough we need to get that one over with um so we have our series, we have our movie, and there's at least three movies that we can potentially go to the theaters to watch now. Everything all everywhere, all at once, Studio 666 and Morbius. We need to get Morbius out of the way. I know. Uh, so I will figure hey, it they're, out. They're showing everything everywhere uh, all at once on IMAX. <laughs> <sighs> dude, oh, it's, two, it's two hours and 19 minutes long, dude. You know what? After watching the Batman dude, two hours doesn't it seems like a breeze. I'm like, eh, that's pretty standard now. For real. So yeah. well, all right, bro. I will let you get back to what you're doing, need to do. As always, guys, be good to each other. More importantly, be good to yourselves. Hey. That's all.